Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Have you ever wondered about privacy on the internet? Well, the other day I did a video on the Tor web browser, which is a fantastic privacy web browser. But there is also another web browser that's concerned about your privacy and protects it. Now, this web browser I'm about to talk about, it's not Tor, and it's not the same as Tor, whereas Tor is really relaying your internet activity through three different servers and it's keeping you anonymous but the web browser i'm going to talk about today is libra wolf it is a fork of firefox and it does respect your privacy but it doesn't relay your information through three different servers so you might ask well, what's the point of using it well i'm going to tell you LibreWolf is a fork of Firefox, but it takes out all the bloat from Firefox. And it has all the settings automatically set to protect your privacy. So for instance, when I install Firefox, I go into the settings and harden everything and make sure all the settings are there to protect my surfing. But LibreWolf automatically has all those settings automatically set. You don't have to do anything to harden LibreWolf. And like I said before, all the bloat is gone. So let's go and take a look at LibreWolf and uh, see what it's about. I'm in a virtual machine of MX Linux. And it's a fantastic distribution. And in their package manager, they have LibreWolf. Now, not every distribution has LibreWolf and if you want to install LibreWolf in Arch, you have to go into the AUR, the Arch User Repository, to install it. But MX Linux, they have LibreWolf right in their main software repository, and it's easy to install. So, let's install it. I'm going to go to the Package Manager. I'm going to go to my Start menu. I'm going to go right up here to the MX Package Installer. I'm going to put my password in. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to go to web browsers. And here it is right here, LibreWolf. I'm going to click it on and I'm going to install. So here it is. It's installing it. It shouldn't take too long. And then I'm going to open it up and take a quick look at it. So it's asking me to OK it. I'm going to OK it. And it's asking me to hit the enter button. So I'm going to hit the enter button. And it shouldn't take too long. It's asking me to do this again. OK, and it's finished. So that wasn't too painful. Let's close this. Let's see if it's in my menu. So we're going to go here to Internet. And here we have LibreWolf. Let's click it on and see what it's about. So it's opening up. And of course, the first time you open up a program, it always takes a little longer to open it. Once it's in your, uh, after it's been opened once, it always leaves a little bit in RAM, so it's easier to open. So let's just close it again, and let's go back to the Start menu, and let's go to Internet. Now, as we can see, I have Firefox, which is also pinned down at the bottom here. But in the menu in Internet, I have Brave Browser installed, which came directly from the MX Package Manager. I have Firefox installed, which was installed automatically when I downloaded and installed MX Linux and LibreWolf, which I just installed. So let's click it on. Now it's opening and it looks a lot like Firefox because it is a fork of Firefox, but there's no bloat. I love it. And if we went into uh, our settings, we don't have to do anything. Everything is set for it to be hardened. Um, your search is automatically set to DuckDuckGo. 
Privacy is already on hardened. Sorry, I hit the wrong thing there. Privacy and security. Yes, I did. Privacy and security. It's already set to be hardened. They've taken out all the other ones. It's enabled HTTPS. It's fantastic. So I'm just going to open up another tab. And here we are. Now, the thing about Libra Wolf is that it won't remember your history. It won't accept any cookies or won't keep the cookies. So it won't remember your history. When you close the program, your cookies will be gone and your history will be gone. Now, the thing about Libra Wolf is that whatever these settings are, if you want to do them in Firefox, you can. But you have to go into the settings. When you first download Firefox, you have to go into the settings and change all the settings to harden your Firefox. The other thing is there's no bloat. So if I do a search for, uh, let's say, weather, it's going to give the weather of the city I'm living in because my IP address is not hidden like it is in, with the Tor browser. But this instance, Firefox, this fork of Firefox, all the settings are hardened and all the bloat is gone. So I think Libra Wolf is a fantastic web browser, and I'm just going to take you to their website. Libra Wolf. So this is their website. This is what they explain that they are. It's a custom version of Firefox focused. Oops. I went down too far. Libra Wolf, this is their website. It's a custom version of Firefox focused on privacy, security, and freedom. And you can download it from here, but I highly suggest you download it from your package manager, your software repository, if you're using a Linux distribution. And I invite you to read about it. There's no telemetry, private search, it's, oh yes, I forgot about this. It automatically is installed with uBlock Origin. uBlock Origin is already included for your convenience. I think it's a fantastic web browser. And uh, I think MX Linux is fantastic. So that is Libra Wolf. It's a great web browser and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I am the Lennox Minch.